With the Play One podcast, I thought we'd try a new segment where uh, Sam or I will have individual episodes, 15 to 30 minutes, so much shorter, and just sort of go through, because I know both of us are just very active thinkers, and it gets a little, a little much, to be honest. And I think it would be really helpful for both of us, even just treat it like a personal diary. And I know that some of the things that we, we might be talking about gets a lot of people interested anyway, so I think it's a good little two-in-one. And on this first one, I just want to talk a little bit about and just sort of sharing what's on my mind. Obviously, I don't know nothing. I'm just sharing how I think about this. And that's probably what's going on at the moment with this whole COVID lockdowns and and whatnot. And I know that everyone's probably sick of even hearing about half of this at the moment because it's been the better part of of two years where this has just been everything. It's all you hear about. It's all that people talk about. But I do think that there are a few things that people aren't addressing or taking as serious as I think people should be. And I just wrote a little list so I don't get off traffic uh, topic. So like I said, just 15, 30 minutes, just sort of get it out there and just get it off of my chest. Whether or not you even care or listen, honestly, doesn't bother me. I think that I just need to get it out of my own head. So the first thing that I, I just don't even understand is this whole vaccine part of the part of the issue that's going on at the moment. So it's sort of like, well, is it like, do you think that people should be vaccinated? You know, and it's such a weird one because isn't the whole point of a vaccine in the first place? And honestly, just let me know if I'm wrong about anything. I'm just trying to work it out. But isn't the whole point of getting vaccinated so that we're not spreading it and I'm not getting it? And if so, why does everyone have to be vaccinated? For example, if you get a vaccine against you know, COVID, then you should have total peace of mind, shouldn't you? Because you're vaccinated. So what are you worried about? <laughs> Why do I have to get vaccinated? If you're already vaccinated, you're going to be fine regardless if I'm not. So why is it that we all, I feel like anyway, why does it feel like I'm being pressured into something that I don't want to do and I don't have to do? Does that not, is that not a, a, a crazy thing to say? Like, I don't understand how it's any clearer than that. Why should I get a vaccine and why should the government force me to? And I'll get into some things, how they are forcing you. Why do I have to do it if you're going to be okay regardless? <laughs> like end of debate. What's the debate? I'm not, I don't care if you do and I don't care if you don't. So why do you care if I don't? Do you know what I mean? Like, It just totally blows my mind as to why is there even an argument about this and why am I being forced? And, and this is how we're getting forced because now we're coming out with these lockdowns and people saying like the whole vaccination passport thing that if you're not vaccinated, you don't get to travel. You have to have proof of papers in your back in your passports. And the same thing is being said now that even to go into a gym or your local restaurant, they need to see proof that you've been vaccinated since when, since when have we ever had to have proof of any of our private medical documents to anyone for anything ever? Is that not, and be realistic about this, is that not just total discrimination and segregation? You're segregating people that between people who are vaccinated and people that are not. You're making two classes here and we've got to fight each other about this and argue when <laughs> in the first place, why am I being made to put something into my body in the first place, why do I have to put this foreign sub- substance, chemicals? I got no idea what that shit is. No one does. And I got to put it in my body. I'm not sure why there's an argument. I'm 100% healthy right now. Why the hell would I put something in my body when it hasn't been studied long enough to know if we have, we're going to have really bad, negative, long-term effects? You can't tell me that it won't. There's no proof of it. It hasn't been studied long enough. So why would I do that? Why would I put that into my body? I just don't understand this. And you can, if you want, and you can bring up the argument how it's just another vaccine. We've had vaccines before and you're right. And I've taken them because they've been around for so long that we've seen the the adversity effects that can be had after a long time and it hasn't been too bad. So everyone accepts that risk because we know the studies are there. So yes, I've had my flu vaccines. I've had my hep B, hep C. I've had my, uh, what's the metal, tetanus, tetanus shot. 
Okay, so they're done. I've had them. I'm not against vaccines. I'm against vaccine mandates. Why? You can't force me to do it. Do you know what I mean? Like, and you can't force me to do it without the proper studies there. And I'm not a, I've got no PhD in this or that. Okay. I don't claim to know what's in it and it's going to be bad for me. I'm just thinking analytically. Why would I do that if you can't show me proof that I'm going to be okay in the long run? You can't show anyone proof of that. <laughs> That's end of discussion. There's no way that you can make me do it. There's no way anyone can make you do it. I don't understand it. Why is it because of a government who is, and I'm not political, please. I should have said this at the start. I don't give a shit about politics whatsoever. I just don't understand logically. If we're in a group of friends and you have one friend that thinks he's a leader and he tells you to do something and you're like, you can't make me do it. Why would I do it? Why am I going to listen to him just because he's the leader? I'll just go find another leader or I'll get rid of you. I don't need you here. And that's it. I don't understand why we have to do anything because someone told us to. Like why, if you own a small business, a restaurant, a bike shop or a gym or whatever, if the government comes in and says that you can only serve people that have proof of vaccination, have the vaccine passports, why would I do that? I'm just going to cut out half of my potential customers for what? Because you told me to. As a business owner, how are you going to do that? Think of all the customers you have right now and the clients that you serve. And the government comes in and says, whoever's not vaccinated, you're no longer doing business with them. Let's just take away 50% of your income right now. You're not allowed to serve them anymore. The business is good. It's fair. It's been going on for 10 years. You've been doing business with them. But all of a sudden, they don't have this proof of a, a bit of needle in your skin. What? You can't serve them anymore. For what? I don't understand that. So it's not just between me and someone else, just the everyday Joe Blow, that we're just customers and consuming things. This affects everyone. Like you, your dad has a small business or your uncle owns the, the builder. You know what I mean? Like, and now his income is being cut in half for everyone. Like, aren't we already struggling? I don't get it. We're already going through lockdowns where someone can't open their business for, for a week or two. Don't worry about all the stock that they've just purchased and they've got to hold on to and wear that cost or their cost of rent still going, still paying employees shit. Like you're already getting screwed over. Now, on top of that, or when we go out of these lockdowns, which who knows the fuck when that's going to happen. Now you've got to cut your clients in half. You've got to come in half and who knows if everyone's going to get vaccinated or not. Who knows if another year from down the track, we're like, you know what? The vaccine was actually bullshit. Uh, we don't know what to do about it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't get it. This does not make any sense. And I don't understand. And it's not even, <laughs> I think life's a game anyway. Okay. But I don't think that this is a fun part of the game. I don't think this is funny. And I don't think that people understand this. Like it's not, none of this is even a conspiracy theory because I'm not saying for any reason that they're evil or they're doing this or that. I'm just stating what's happening. I can't leave my home. I can't shop at certain places. I have to put a fucking thing over my face. Like, look at my nose, bro. I got half a nostril. I've had my face broken. Do you know how I used to breathe that shit? And anyway, the point is like, I have to do all this shit for what? For what? I don't, I just, none of it makes sense. Like, it's not even that I think that they're so evil and corrupt and whatever. I'm just saying like, since when do I have to do any of this shit? It doesn't matter what your agenda is. I don't care. But why are you making me do shit that I, it doesn't even, none of it makes sense. It's illogical. And, I, and it's just, it frustrates me because you ask some people or they'll talk about it. And it's sort of like, yeah, you know, but we got to do it. It's temporary. We just got to get this over this little part here. And then hopefully it'll be all good later. It's only for two weeks. Just wear the mask or don't worry, we won't leave home or I'll just close the shop. Like it's, you can't keep doing that forever. Do you know what I mean? Because it's not temporary. And I think everything's temporary in the long run, but we all thought this is going to be temporary in 2019 or 2020. Like <laughs> it's been over two years. Tell, you can't keep telling me it's temporary and we're going to get through it next month. Like you can't promise me. It. And to think that I'm going to put my life on hold for what? And for how long? Like, you, do you know, do you know, does that not make total? I just don't get it. It's just so stupid. I'm not going to put my life on hold and you can't even tell me when this is going to be done. Like how many people, are, we, do you know what I see a lot where people argue about and it divides households and Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, the same thing. Like it's a, it divides us between it because people are saying like, 
the other part, oh man, you, you, you're making it, you're screwing it up for the rest of us. You know, I'm trying to do the right thing here. And here you are, you've got people over your house. Okay. But for how long do I have to do this right thing? And it's, and by right, it's not normal. Why do I have to do this unnatural thing to make, apparently to make all this all go away, but it go, you do it for two years and you're like, well, how long am I going to keep doing this for? until enough is enough and, and we've I've done the right thing for long enough that we can move on do you understand like you can't no one's making any promises of when this is going to go away and that's the shit thing that I know a lot of people are angry about because how do you plan for anything like I wanted to go away for man I'll get into that shit later but you I wanted to go on a holiday for this or that right well I don't know how to book it or when to book it because I don't know if we're going to be in lockdowns or I don't know if I can get time off work or I can't put in for leave so people are in this weird sort of stagnant place where no one's doing anything. And the shit thing is, and I cannot say this any clearer than this, and I can't, make, I can't emphasize this enough. We are wasting the best years of our lives. The best years of our lives. I'm 24. I know from a selfish perspective as, as a fighter, no one's fighting. You can't book a fight. Some people rely on this for a living. And to get for a dream, like these, you only have a small window to fight and compete. So what happens after I miss three of the best fighting years of my life? I get to, you know, I hit 29 in a few years, whatever. And I'm, getting, I'm hitting 30. Some guys are hitting 35. Then that's it. You've got to hang up the gloves now. You're done. Or I'm young. I'm like, I don't want to have, I don't want to get forced into having kids because I'm all of a sudden 30 and you've got to have kids by your 30. You know, like I'm supposed to be a young, hung 24 year old, doing whatever the fuck I want, whenever I want and have nothing figured out and who gives a shit. But now it's sort of like, well, these years are passing while everyone's fucking around with all this. And now what? I've got to have kids all of a sudden settle down and just bring my kids up to live like this too. Do you know what I mean? Like this goes, it goes so much further than people are understanding. Like look at your little brothers and sisters, my little brothers and sisters, who's done schoolies? We haven't had schoolies for like two years. That's like the best, or a muck up day. It's like the best thing about finishing school forever. And you never get to celebrate that. And now you're going to have a generation of kids and we're slowly already becoming attached from them so quickly. Like I can hardly relate to my, my younger siblings now. It's just becoming that detached already. And now they've been grown up through the most crucial, pivotal years of their lives around this whole culture where we don't see each other. We don't hang out. We don't communicate. We don't touch, we don't celebrate and, and it's, and we don't, when we don't celebrate, we don't even see each other in person, you know, and it's going to become just so much weirder in the next few years. I already feel bad for them because, you know, the kids are going through year 12 and we're hanging, just hanging because they would have seen the years above them do it. And now all of a sudden, wait, I don't get to celebrate finishing school. And then you sort of just, and it's not even that you're at school, you're on your laptop now. So imagine being in year 12 being homeschooled for two years and you're just seeing people on a screen. And then what happens when you back and when you, when you graduate, like what changes, what, what did you get to celebrate it or you didn't get to go out and do you even feel like you graduated? You're still just in your room at home or wherever you're getting homeschooled. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Like it just becomes so weird after this and it just gets harder because for one, like how are we even schooling them? Like who gives a shit and who's doing the work properly? You know what I mean? Like we're going to have a dumb generation where the last six, six years, no one learns anything because no one was forced or, and not forced, but no one was encouraged or taught properly. You can sort of just copy some shit on what, like on the internet and, and copy and paste. You know what I mean? Like you're not being held accountable for anything. And it's just so fucking weird. I don't get it. Like it blows my mind thinking about it. You know, it just, it's all well and good to talk about this and, the social thing and oh how's COVID and how's work and whatever other bullshit that comes up but it's and you know everyone will keep saying for the and I've been saying this me and Sam have both said this from the start like I know it sucks shit but you know try and focus on yourself and and encourage yourself to to stay positive and stay healthy and all that sort of shit 100% still stand by it you know what I mean like forever forever no matter what always and every day trying to make sure that I'm feeling better I'm a, I'm a sound state of mind. I'm happy and I'm healthy and I'm getting better all the time for sure. But it gets to a point where you're like, how long can people keep hearing that for? 
you know what I mean? Having these shit messy routines and like, it's so hard to stay motivated. You know what I mean? Cause no one's got any, anything to look forward to. We're not motivated or encouraged because it's sort of like, you know what I mean? Like if we were motivated for everyone, let's go on a hard lockdown for two months and we can guarantee by the end of this two months, it's all done. Everyone will knuckle down. Everyone will knock, knuckle down and nail it. We're have a single case because everyone will be like, holy shit, this reward's going to be so good. Let's live normal finally. But no one has that sort of motivation anymore because no one knows. So we're in this awkward, stagnant spot where just time is just passing and we're not doing anything. We're not doing anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because if you think about it, that's exactly what's happening. Like, don't... <laughs> Don't let this just drift over your head like it's nothing because it's not. And this is not a normal thing to happen. It is not a normal thing to happen. But the more you talk to people, it's becoming more normalized. Like it's, this is a normal way to live. It's not. And never forget that. This is not a normal way to live. We're never supposed to be like this. You know, when we are like this, when we, before we go to war, when shit is just so abnormal that we finally crack and be like, we're not doing this anymore. You go to war. <laughs> That's the sort of pl- point in time I think we are. And am I saying that world war is coming after this? And I'm just saying this is what happens in the past. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's how scary this can be if everyone actually realized how messed up this is. And this is the question that I'm going to end it here and just say rant over and finally get this off my chest. But if you think about it like this, at what point in time, in, in the future for you, for yourself, is this going to be that that was it? That was the line that was crossed and I'm not doing this anymore. How far is it going to get before that happens? See, if this ticks any like boxes for you and you can understand and resonate with it, just hit me up, please. I just want to have a fucking normal conversation to a normal person. You know what I mean? Like this whole small talk COVID shit. Oh man, I'm so over it. But anyway, thanks for listening.